Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Destiny CGP, the official Petronas Sopan Racing Team vlog. I'm Tariq and I speak to you on a Monday fresh from the cracking season opener that was the Qatar GP. A lot of things happened behind the scenes on and off track and, well, here's what happened. The Qatar season opener kicked off on Thursday with the customary press day activities under the sweltering desert heat. Much of the scrums include pre-race filming and photography pretty much everywhere around the circuit. The highlight of it all was of course the class of 2021 filming on the grid. Apart from that, there were plenty of TV interviews and sponsor photo shoots being done. Not forgetting the all-important pre-race press conference. By the way, here's a quick look at how MotoGP TV's cool intro was shot featuring both our MotoGP riders Franco Morbidelli and Valentino Rossi. In between all of that, the team also held its first team talk sessions of the season. These usually take place on Thursdays at every race and it sees the top management, led by team principal Datuk Razlan Razali, saying a few inspiring words ahead of the race weekend. Things got cracking on Friday with free practice sessions and all four riders from our Moto3 and Moto2 squads didn't fare too badly on the first day. Okay, before we continue, I want to quickly show you what everyone in the team got over the weekend, which is a new piece of kit from our partner's monitor and it's a pair of brand new safety shoes. These new limited edition monitor Petronas SRT shoes were produced using the brand's considerable experience and in-depth knowledge of the anatomy of the foot as well as the latest footwear manufacturing technology. They will be available for purchase starting in May this year. Back to the on-track action, here's how our MotoGP squad looked and sounded like on Friday. Both Rossi and Morbidelli also fared well on their first day in Qatar. As it turns out, both student and teacher ended Friday by being in the top 10 of the timesheet. Speaking of students... The season opening Qatar GP round also hosted the opening rounds of the Asia Talent Cup series. For the Malaysian trio competing in the series, it also meant that they had the chance to meet up with Petronas Sprinter racing riders John McPhee and Darren Binder early on in the week. The informal meet and chat session held in the riders' hotel lasted for about 20 minutes, thus allowing all three Malaysian youngsters to trade notes and gain more knowledge from both John and Darren ahead of their weekend. Unsurprisingly, the result of this meet-up session was evident as the weekend unfolded. With the final free practice sessions done, all focus was set for qualifying help late on Saturday. Here's how things looked and felt in the garage in the final minutes of the sensational Moto3 qualifying. Yep, Darren proved his mettle after scoring pole position in his debut qualifying with the team and he also earned a brand new special edition Tissot watch. Our Moto2 squad saw a mixed bag of results during qualifying. Things didn't go as planned, meaning Jake and Xavi both had to settle with 7th and 15th on the grid for Sunday's race. Saturday night ended back on a high thanks to the efforts of our MotoGP squad as living legend Rossi placed 4th on the grid whilst Morbidelli wasn't far behind in 7th. 
as Sunday race day beckons, our Moto3 squad delivered the day's first triumph. John McPhee knocked out early on, all hopes lay in Darren and the South African rode sensationally from pole to finish on the podium in third. It was a trying day for our Moto2 squad on Sunday as Xavi Verhey got knocked out with just 6 laps left. Jake Dixon on the other hand battled through immense pain from his wrist injury and settled for 7th. So GP main event got underway shortly after under the signature flat lights with a handful of spectators present. Alas, things didn't go according to plan here too as both Rossi and Mobidoli had to settle with 12 and 18 place finishes respectively. That is it for this edition of Destinasi GP. Hope you enjoyed this inside look of how life was like for us in the season opening Qatar GP. Stay tuned next week as we bring you an inside look at how our second outing in the desert went for the Doha GP. Until then, like, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one.